I stayed at two amazing onsen dokan during my trip to Kitami in Hokkaido. And today I want to share them with you so that you know where to stay when you go on your own trip. My name is Michelle. You're watching Tokyo Fast 3. Let's begin. The first Kyokan we stayed at was Shiobetsu Tsurutsuru Onsen. This is closer to Kitami's main attractions, which are the Daichi Aquarium and the Kitakitsune Farm. The name Tsurutsuru means silky smooth in Japanese, and that's exactly what happens to your skin when you bathe in their hot springs. Because the water is slightly alkaline, it feels a little bit slippery, somewhat slimy, to the point that you feel like you still have soap on, even if you've washed your body thoroughly. Now, I've been to a lot of hot springs in Japan, and water like this is not very common, so it's definitely the selling point of this onsen. They have both public indoor and outdoor baths, and the variety is good. I just wish they had a sauna to complete the whole experience. When it comes to rooms, they have traditional Japanese ones, and the one I stayed at was really spacious, and I really liked the futon because it was fluffy and comfortable. Some people may have qualms about sleeping on the floor, but when you have a good futon, it's never really an issue. They have dedicated spaces for dining where you take your dinner and breakfast, and I especially like that they serve the region's specialty, which is tamakoro or onion croquettes at breakfast. It was my first time eating it, and I was really surprised at how sweet it was. One surprising thing that I found here was that they had a retro game corner where you can find claw games and slot machines. And I tried my luck, and I even had my friend do it for me, but we couldn't win any prizes. That's too bad. Staying at this onsen rokan will cost you around 11 to 14,000 per person per night. And that's not a bad price at all, especially when compared to the second onsen rokan that we went to. And that second onsen rokan is the Saromako Tsuruga Resort, which is by far the most luxurious accommodation I've ever stayed at. It overlooks Lake Saroma, which is close to the Wakka Nature Center, which was my favorite part of the trip, pedaling through really nice grassy fields. When it comes to hot springs, they have both indoor and outdoor public baths as well as a sauna, which I was very happy about. The hot springs actually occupy two floors. The one on the first floor is Japanese style, while the one on the second floor is Scandinavian style. The rooms were absolutely gorgeous. The one I stayed at had a sitting room the size of a regular business hotel. Breakfast and dinner were both buffets and the selection was amazing. They had a good variety of fresh seafood as well as cooked meat, steaks, anything you can think of under the sun. And I'm kind of racking my brain as to why I don't have any pictures and videos of the food, but I guess I was just really indulging in it too much. Oh, and they also had a ping pong area, which my friend and I had a good go at after dinner. It was really fun. Now, if you're wondering about the price, this one will cost you around 12000 to 35000 per person per night. And it is quite a splurge and one that I probably wouldn't spend on unless I'm celebrating something special. Thankfully, this trip was all paid for. So I got lucky and had that experience. And those are my two recommendations for where to stay in Kitami Hokkaido. Now, if you're looking for an onsen getaway that's closer to Tokyo, check out this video next and I'll see you there. Bye!